I've been so grateful for all of this. We've been so grateful for all of this. Like, like you have noticed going up to Oregon, there's just a hunger and there's a desire to hear all these stories. So thank well, you. Yeah. I'm just happy, you know, that, that the younger people are still interested in hearing about it. And, um, you know, it's great knowledge to have because, um, you know, I think that music is, is, uh, is such an important thing in everybody's life. You know, working with, um, you know, doing some of the courses I do when I do talk about the great American songbook, let's say, and I, you know, I'm going back to talking about Irving Berlin or Cole Porter or, or Gershwin's whatever and talking about those artists, the songs they write. People always tell me, you know, as you get older, they say, you know, um, Mel Brooks once used this line. He said, when I go to the to the refrigerator and I open up the refrigerator, I can't remember what the hell I went to the refri refrigerator for. You know, what, what, what did I go here for? What am I looking for? And yet, when we hear these old songs, as you get older, you'll find that you can remember every lyric on every one of these songs and remember where you were when you heard a certain song. Music just stays with you forever. There's, I guess, a place in your brain that you know that uh, absorbs it and, and and contains it, and um, it's a it's a very very important thing you know for everybody. And I'm just glad that people listening you know to you are you know are into music enough to you know to want to know all these things. They'll find as they get older, they'll they'll be very happy they did. It's it's an important part of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you touched on something that I'm actually really interested in these days is music therapy and using mm -hmm. music to uh, sometimes, like you said, where, where you, you can open the fridge, you don't know what you're going for. You can listen yeah. to a song and they're actually doing studies in nursing homes right now where people can be in a dementia state and exactly. just not be in their body. And you put on a song that they knew from their childhood, all of a sudden they snap back. They exactly. Back. Yeah, I know. Tony, Tony Bennett, you know, God bless him. You know, he uh, just recently passed away, but, you know, he had uh, Alzheimer's. And um, I, I think his son, Danny, who really just reinvented his entire career, said that right until the very end, even though he may not remember who you were or where he was, whatever, he would stand by the piano and someone said, sing a song, Tony. And he'd say, you know, what song? They would give him a song. He could sing it beginning to end, remembering every line without, you know, I mean, even Sinatra towards the end was using a teleprompter. Tony Bennett, just that he knew, but it's, you know, but he lost, you know, everything else. So it's amazing how certain things stayed with you. you know, the last show he did with Lady Gaga at the music hall, you know, he did that all without a teleprompter. He was 95, 96. So mm. be into music, kids. Yes. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yes, I think that's a great way to take us out. 